Hi. <laughs> now, my dear, we're going to move on to a higher level of trigonometry, and that's bearings. It's very important. Get your bearing right. Remember people tell you, get your bearing right. What do they mean by that? Get your direction right. Your bearing. What's your direction? What's your bearing? Get your bearing right for maths. Well, that meant get your direction right for maths. Are you there? Right. I hear you. Your bearings. What is your bearing? Right now, moving in the direction to get a distinction. Now, right now, my bearing that I'm going to talk about we all want to discuss about is about the compass. When you want, if when you go trekking, what do you need? The compass. If you want to talk about direction, you need to locate yourself where from a direction because we don't know where's north, south, east, west. So our compass will tell us if that's north, then where is your bearing? Okay. So today we're going to do a little bit on that. Okay. We look at bearing and we say, hey, you're north. If that's north, all right, south is down, down. East is here and west is there. North, south, east, west. Now, when you talk about bearing, you're relating always to north, all right? And the maximum circle that you can go around. It's 360 degrees. You can just go around and come back to north again. So 360. Now what is the bearing for these few sums? The bearing of A from B. The bearing of A from B. From B. Look at B. B is facing north. B goes one round here. This is the bearing. From north, it goes round here. That's the bearing. All right, so it's 360 degrees. Take away, if you look at 360 minus 124, all right? You get zero, you take away, you get a six, and this becomes a five. Take away two is a three. Three, take away one is a two. So the bearing is 236 degrees. Two, three, six degrees. That's your answer. All right. What for this sum A? Bearing of A, bearing of A from B, okay, is 236 degrees. What is the bearing of B from A? All right, because this is a common topic. I have to write it. It's for all these sums that I'm writing. All right. So what is the bearing of B? Where is B from A? My dear, where are you B? A, look at A, A, north, B is there, so north. Where is B from A? Look at this angle. And if we have two parallel lines, this is parallel to this line, these two are called interior opposite angles. So this is... All right, if you look at it, 180 minus 124, you get a 56 degrees. So the bearing of B from A will be, you take it as 0, 5, 6, because the maximum angle is 360 degrees. You start from 0, 0, 56 degrees. So B is actually 56 degrees north, all right? You look at it north of A, it's going this way. It's more of a northeast. So this is clearly indicative of it, all right? You can see north, east is 90 degrees, and then south is 180 degrees from north, and west is 270 degrees, west, 270 degrees. All right, now let's look at a second sum. They said north is this way, where is the bearing of A from B? A from B. What do it look like? A from B. From B, starting point is B. So it's this angle. And if this is 36 angles in a straight line, 
180 minus 36. 180 take with 30, you get 150. Then you take away 6, you get 144 degrees. What is the bearing of A from B? Sorry, of B, sorry, from A. Where are you, B? From A. Draw the line again. That's your north. What is the bearing of B from A? From A, you always go north. You go this way. Is it A? Ah, that's the direction. Got it? From north, from A. You go north. That's north. And then you go towards B. So that's the direction. You go all the way there. So if you look at this angle, you know that this is 36 here because parallel lines, alternate angle. And so this will be 360 minus 36. What is 360 minus 36? 360 take with 30, you get 330. 330 take with 6, you get 324. So this is 324 degrees. Got it? Alright, where's the bearing of A from B? A from B. Look at it carefully again. A from B. You always go from north. Go around the whole thing and you come there. So the answer again, what will it be? A from B will be equal to A from B is this whole thing. 360 thick with 36. Here it happens to be this angle. Alright? And B from A. B from A. What do you do? Again, you draw from your north. B from A. From A go north here. So you look at these two. Do you see 180 degrees? Two parallel lines. Interior opposite angles. Yes. So 180 minus 36. What do you get? 144 degrees. Right. So that's what it means. Let's look at this sum. What is the bearing of A from B? From B. A from B. Are you okay? Alright, from B, you look at it, da-da, this is the angle. So, A from B, I just want to build up and understand this so that bearings will become a lot more easier. This angle up to here is 180 plus your 36, you get 216 degree. It's 180 plus 36. And your B from A, Alright, these are things which is very important. B from A, you look at it again. B from A. Alright, B from A, north. So you can see that these two angles are equal. It's 36 degrees. So you write it as 036 degree. That's how you do it. Alright, getting the hang over there. Now let's look. North is going that way. Hey, North, where is A from B? Now we make, we tweak it. A from B. You look at it. A from B. The B is the starting point. Always from the North go down. It's 180 minus 87 because it's a straight line. And 180 minus 87. Can you tell me what is that? Well, 180 take with 80 is 100. 100 take with 7 will be 93 degrees. So the bearing is equal to 0, 093. Because the maximum angle is 360 degrees. We want to show that from 0, it moved 93 degrees. Alright, what is the bearing of B from A? What will it be? Bearing of B from A. Right, look at it again, my dear. The north is this way. You want to go all the way here. 
right up to here. The bearing of B from A, north, east, south, and then it moves on further. So if you look at that, all right, this is 87. This angle here is an alternate angle, 87. So this angle will be angles at a point. It'll be 360 degrees minus your 87. When you borrow, all right, this 5, you get a 3. 15, take away 8, is a 7. So you have a 273 degrees. This is just a basic introduction to bearings. All right, we'll give you a little bit more on different directions.